Welcome to the latest in our technology demystified video series and this time we're looking at persistent memory. What is it? How is it different from regular system memory and why would you consider using it? Well, persistent memory, often abbreviated to PMEM, is a solid state high performance memory device that resides on the memory bus. And this is important as being on the memory bus allows PMEM to access data much like traditional system memory or DRAM. But it also has the added advantage of being non-volatile like NAND flash storage. Regular DRAM memory DIMMs used in servers feature enhancements such as registering, buffering and error correcting, which you can learn more about in our Memory Explained video. And to make it easy, we'll put a link to that in the description below for you. However, even with these resiliency features, DRAM remains volatile, so it'll lose any data should power fail or the server crash. In contrast, PMEM is a newer technology based on 3D XPoint technology that secures data if the power fails and also bridges a gap between system memory and storage. Intel Optane Persistent Memory DIMMs are an example of 3D points being deployed into a PMEM scenario. As you can see from this diagram, PMEM has similar latencies to DRAM, but the width of the pyramid also represents capacity, meaning that PMEM can deliver much greater addressable system memory than when using DRAM alone. As you can also see, it's less expensive than DRAM, so it's more cost effective when scaling large memory within servers. PMEM modules come in much larger capacities and they're less expensive per gigabyte than DRAM. They also feature industry standard AES-256 hardware encryption, adding greater security for data in memory. However, PMEM modules are still more expensive per gigabyte than NVMe SSDs, so their use is only for when you need greater system memory, say above one terabyte, rather than replacing SSD capacity, as this would ultimately prove more costly. So now hopefully we understand where persistent memory fits within the system hierarchy. We need to understand how you introduce it into the system alongside traditional DRAM. Well, much like DRAM, it needs to be installed in groups dependent on the CPU's memory channel requirements. And the idea here is that rather than having a single memory pool of DRAM, you create a tiered memory scenario with DRAM acting as a fast caching layer and PMEM providing the additional capacity layer. This allows the DRAM to provide absolute performance when needed, but facilitates the server system scaling way above the memory capacity that DRAM can offer alone. The typical ratio of DRAM to PMEM should be 1 to 4, where you'd have 4 times the PMEM capacity than that of DRAM. And as datasets grow and applications become more memory hungry, commonly required memory capacities like 512 gigabytes and one terabyte have been traditionally achieved using DIMMs such as 64 and 128 gigabytes, which can be expensive. With PMEM DIMMs such as Optane, these capacities can be achieved using much smaller and cheaper DRAM DIMMs such as 16 and 32 gigabytes alongside large Optane DIMMs of 128, 256 or 512 gigabyte sizes. And this not only makes scaling of system memory more cost effective, but due to the high capacities of PMEM DIMMs, large combined totals may be achieved up to 6 terabytes, more than could be achieved with DRAM alone. Scaling in this way not only delivers greater capacity and performance when using larger data sets, but also leads up to 40% reduction in memory costs as you scale, as the cost per gigabyte of Optane is much lower than DRAM. So now we're clear on what advantages PMEM can deliver and how it should be configured with a server for optimum performance. But what use cases really need to scale memory up to 4 terabyte capacity? Well, the most common memory hungry application is any form of virtualization. And of course, virtualization is when you take a single physical server and segregate it into numerous virtual machines or VMs. For example, splitting the resource in the server to get better utilization out of the hardware by flexing and scaling these VMs as tasks rather than having the server running 100% at some time and say only 20 to 30% of the time at others. Although this virtualization technique delivers more efficient utilization, each VM requires a lot of system memory allocated to it, and this is where PMEM can deliver both efficiencies and savings. 
Even though we stated that PMEM speed and latency is slightly lower than that of DRAM when deployed alongside each other, the result is that the overall system works better as tasks are focused to either the cache or capacity tier of the memory pool. And this has the effect of reducing system process latencies to the CPU, thus increasing the overall server performance. These virtualization scenarios may include high performance computing, machine learning, AI and scientific research, as they often rely on very large system memory capacities due to complex analytical tasks, large renders, simulations or simply just huge data sets. However, this overall system performance increase is also being exploited by various other industry verticals to accelerate their mission critical workloads. A good example is fraud detection, where persistent memory improves the speed at which financial institutions and insurance companies can perform data analytics on millions of records to detect fraudulent transactions, preventing financial losses and impacts on brand name. Similarly, in the cybersecurity space, threat analysis also relies on rapid integration of data in system memory. So persistent memory offers companies advantages when detecting and defending against increasingly elaborate attacks. It's also used for large-scale web personalization where companies tailor online experiences to the user by returning relevant content and advertisements to that particular user, resulting in higher user click-through and more e-commerce revenue opportunity. One final example is in the financial trading sector where applications can benefit from persistent memory to rapidly process and execute financial transactions, allowing them to gain a competitive advantage and create higher revenue opportunity. So there you have it, persistent memory or PMEM explained. If your organization is looking at purchasing new servers, then it would be wise to consider a tiered memory configuration if your workloads include any of these use cases that we've mentioned in this video, especially at scale. Our 3XS system architects are on hand to advise and discuss what system design may be best for your needs. Don't hesitate to get in touch though if you have any more questions or would like any more information about Intel Optane PMEM or other related topics. And of course you can leave a comment below and one of our SCAN IT team will reply to you as soon as they can.